But I call the honourable member for Longman. Thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Health. I refer the Minister to the Caboolture GP super clinic in my electorate that was promised more than three years ago. Can the Minister update the House on the delays and the deceptions of the Caboolture GP super clinic and how that has affected the provision of health services in my electorate? I call the honourable member for Minister for Health. Thank you uh, very much, Madam Speaker. Well, I must say uh, the GP Super Clinic was one of my favourite Labor programs. $650 million of taxpayers' money, uh, first promised in 2007. Here we are in 2013. Uh, there's still some that are still in a planning stage six years later. I mean, can, can, can somebody explain to me how, how Labor presided over such incompetence in government? How, how did we spend money? How did our country get to a point where in the health portfolio we're spending money on burnout competitions, but not on patients. I mean, if anybody had any doubt about the incompetence of the Labor Party, look no further than the former Minister for Health. Look at what Labor did in the portfolio, and the member for Longman is a great local member. I mean, he has championed the cause of patients in his electorate over the course of the last five or six years. He wants to make sure that patients can get in to see a doctor. I mean, it's not a big ask. And do you know, Madam Speaker, that this clinic was first promised by the former government on the 12th of August 2010, indeed during the 2010 election campaign. But here we are three years later, people turning up to this vacant paddock uh, <laughs> expect some sort of clinical services to be delivered, but of course it's not going to reach the standard. I mean, doctors are not going to be able to practice in a vacant paddock because the planning stages are still underway. This is a government that will get on and provide services to patients. Contrast that to Labor's time in health when they promised so much and they wasted so much, but they delivered so little. And I want to make sure, I want to make sure, Madam Speaker, that this doesn't continue, but I am worried about another site. At the last election, the good people of Redcliffe and right across that seat delivered a great member into Petrie. They were sick of the promises that the former member made in relation to the super clinic so-called on the Redcliffe Peninsula, because it's also an interesting study. It started out as a $5 million promise. So this is where the government of the day promised to give $5 million to a medical entrepreneur to set up one of these super clinics to compete with doctors who had already put their own capital at risk to deliver services. It was completely devoid of any logic, this program. But give it, uh, give it some time. Does it get better? No. $5 million promised initially. And then $13.2 million the cost blew out too. So, I mean, let, let's try and average this across the number of patients that have been seen in the service, which would be OK if, let's say, a million patients have been seen since that time. But the problem, of course, is with the GP super clinic, clinic in, in uh, Redcliffe is that after $13.2 million and six years, it hasn't seen a patient. It hasn't seen a patient. Not one. And so I've said to my office, how can we calculate $13.2 million over zero patients? Well, of course we can't because this is a testament to the incompetence of the previous Labor government. We will fix up Labor's mess and we will get the health system back on track in this country.